Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Vasquez. Welcome to the station channel. Today we're going to be talking about option sets. Um, I will not be defining what option sets are today, but basically uh, option sets can be used for a wide range of purposes. Uh, we will talk about that in a different video. And I will also be linking in the description of this video um, for an article on how to do option sets. But basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about how to interlink two different option sets where you can use two different dropdowns. And based on the option that you select on the first dropdown are the options that will be available on the second dropdown. And to do that, you want to go to your and data tab and the option sets uh, menu. Here, we're going to create two different option sets. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to be using a state and a city uh, within the United States. Uh, so state and city. Uh, within the state, uh, we're going to create a city list. And within, <laughs> I just activated city on my phone. And within city, we're going to be creating a new attribute uh, called state. And that will only be one state. Okay, so within the cities, uh, we're going to be using Texas, Maryland, and Illinois for this sample. So we're going to do Houston, uh, San Antonio, and Dallas. Uh, for Illinois, we're going to be using Chicago, Elgin, and Springfield. For Maryland, we're going to be using Annapolis, which is the capital. Baltimore and Elica City. Uh, Miss Pavelica. Okay. Uh, and then for state, as I mentioned before, we're going to be using Illinois, Texas, and Maryland. Uh, here we're going to modify the attribute uh, and we're going to start adding the cities. So for you know, it would be Chicago, Elgin, and Springfield. For Texas, it would be Dallas, San Antonio, and Houston. Lastly, for Maryland, it would be Baltimore, uh, Annapolis, and Ellicott City. Now we're going to do something similar in the cities. Uh, we're going to add the states. So Houston is in Texas. San Antonio is in Texas. Dallas is in Texas. Uh, Chicago is in Illinois. Elgin is in Illinois. And Springfield is in Illinois as well. Lastly, for the last three, Annapolis is in Maryland. Baltimore is in Maryland. And Ellicott City is in Maryland. Uh, before we continue, I would like to remind you that uh, we do these tutorials just to share information. We have our website that have thousands of tutorials from different channels. It's called stitchon.com. I would love if you go and take a look at it and provide me some feedback. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. I answer questions just like this one from other users that have questions. If I know the answer, I try to provide the answer. Uh, the idea is to spread spread the love and hopefully help some other people get started with no code. So here we added two different uh, drop downs to uh, to the design. So the first one, so both of them will have dynamic choices. Then the type of choice for the first one is state, uh, and the source will be all state, and the option caption will be current option on uh, display. For the second one, it's a little bit different. So for the second one will be city. Then for the option source, I had already created it before. So uh, we will fix that in a moment um, and display. So for filter contains and drop down a value. Okay. And city state display contains drop down a value display. 
here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, what did I do wrong? Let's see, let's go back. See this expression. So it has three. Yes. All right, here we go. Just I had to select again. So here uh, we're going to preview this. And so we select Illinois and as predetermined, Chicago, Elgin, and Springfield are options. Now, if we select Texas, Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas are the options, Maryland, Annapolis, Baltimore, and Helico City. So let's go back and see how we filter this option. So what we did is uh, we select all city because we're selecting the cities here, so all city. So this one should match uh, this one, uh, the type of choice. So then we filter and we say this city state so basically, um, this city state, so the state here, this city state display contains the drop down A value display. And the drop down A, just for reference, is this drop down. So whatever the user select here um, will be displaying down here. So this city state display contains drop down values to display. And display just means um, the, the name that you gave to the option. So here is a display. So here's what we'll be displaying because this is the display. And that's it for this tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, leave it down in the comments below. I try to answer questions as often as I can. Uh, please consider, like I said, subscribing to the channel and liking this video. It will really help me um push forward this channel and you know motivate me to do more videos like just like this one uh, again if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i would be more than happy to take a look at them if i can answer them then i will by all means uh answer them uh, until the next one thank you